Hey guys, what's up? This is Pantar Dragon, and today we'll be going over my mechanics and key bindings. Now, you're probably watching this video wondering how does a challenger play? Like, maybe he has some cool techniques to show, or like a weird keyboard style that he plays. And the simple answer is it's not really that unique, it's pretty simple, like most players. But I will say that, you know, when I first started out, um, I wasn't obviously the best mechanical player. One thing I will point out is a vastly change in Season 1. I never used to smart cast, but once I did learn how to smart cast, everything, my mechanics, wholly improve. As it does help you improve on inputting commands faster, since you don't have to use that second left click. Now, let's go over the custom key bindings I have. Well, truth be told, I don't really have that much of a difference than the average default. The only thing that I have changed is the trinket on my 7, because I was used to Season 3 where it was no trinket. And also, I do have my taunt, joke, dance, and laugh on F6 to 10, just because spamming is ever so fun. And also, after making this video, I actually had a situation where um, I actually missed the kill because I hit a minion. And honestly, I don't think I want that to ever happen again to me. So I think this helps for AD carry players since they do have to right click. So what you want to probably do is have a button for target champions only. The default button is tilt, but I'm going to switch it to space. Since I really never use spacebar for anything, and I do think that should be used for something. Alright, so let's explain how I play. I actually don't have my keys on smartcast. I actually hold shift and then use QWER. Because there are times where I do need a visual to show me where the skill shot will land. Otherwise, I might misclick and shoot it somewhere else. But most times, I do use smartcast, especially for target abilities. As I did say earlier, that it does save you some time since you aren't double clicking. Now, there are some situations where I do smartcast skill shots. Like, say, if I'm absolutely sure that it will hit, then I will smartcast it. Like in this clip, I'm at point blank range, so I know I won't miss the Q, so I just smartcast it. Also, something that really improved my mechanics was uh, level up skills with control Q, W, E, R. This can come really handy when, say, you're in a fight or a skirmish and you level up from killing someone and then you can put an extra point into another skill while fighting the enemy. And so instead of clicking that small plus button on top of your skills, just press Ctrl Q, W, E, R or whatever skill you want to level up. So I only have my two active buttons, which is two and three. And I'm actually really bad at ward jumping because I don't really smart cast my wards. And so if I actually mess up one button input on Lee Sin doing Insect, I actually screw up the whole combo. So that's why I kind of don't play Lee Sin. But if I had to learn Lee Sin for some reason, I'd probably put the key bindings of 3 and 2 to the smart casted version of it, as holding shift does sometimes mess me up. Now when I play AD carries, I hope you all know what stutter step is from StarCraft 2. It's basically you auto attacking and while you're waiting for the next auto attack, you're moving around during that time. And so you're being productive by doing something else while waiting for the next auto attack, as repositioning in teamfights is actually really crucial. Alright, so now how do I do, well, auto attacking as an AD carry? Uh, so what I do is use my right click to move around obviously, and then probably my most biggest tool is the A button, and what it does is it hits the nearest enemy closest to you. And so since everyone's trying to kill you, you're guaranteed to hit someone, you know, in front of you. I also usually do this when I'm trying to kite someone, and so it's actually easier to do right click backwards to kite and then use the A plus left click onto the ground, rather than right clicking the enemy in front of you and then repositioning that mouse cursor backwards so you can kite them, and then it's just kind of like your cursor's everywhere and it's kind of hard to do. Unless you have a sensitive mouse or you have very high APM, it's going to be a lot of work to do that. One thing for sure is that when doing this technique, you might auto attack a minion, which is really bad for Vayne because she needs to proc her triple silver bolts. And so since every auto attack counts in teamfights and skirmishes, you probably want to switch to right clicking the enemy champion just by themselves. Usually when I'm on the chase, instead of kiting the enemy, I will just right click the enemy. Also when I need to reposition my screen around my champion fast, I usually press F1 to center the screen around my champion. This way I don't have to move my mouse across the screen, and then my mouse isn't all over the place. So I recommend you using something to reposition your screen instantly. So I think that's the end of this video. I think I've gone over all my mechanics. If not, and I remember something, I'll probably put it in the comments. And after that, if you honestly want to improve your mechanics, you just have to know what skills to use in certain situations. For instance, when Jax is jumping onto you, uh, you can condemn them while he's in midair, and then he won't get to you. And remember, this is my setup that I use. Everyone has their own preferences, and so just do what you feel is most comfortable. Like for instance, I know somebody who uses Zonia's on his spacebar, and I'm pretty sure everyone uses Smartcast on their keys while I'm the odd one out who holds down shift and uses Smartcast like that. So yeah, everyone has their preference, and just remember to you probably learn Smartcast if you haven't, learn to use your keyboard to level up skills, learning to stutter step, and basically to right-click champions. 
Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.